All right, so I want to cover the topic of Oath Keepers here. Uh, so, you know, Oath Keepers shows up in uh, Ferguson to, to just protect people. They come with guns. They're former military, former police, and they come with guns, which is, a, again, a perfectly legal Second Amendment right of ours, just like freedom of speech. So they're not breaking the law. They're not doing anything bad. But yet the media is quick to attack them. See, it's just so stupid how how it's so illogical it's, it's so just so dumb how the media is so quick and, and especially the left is so quick to attack people who follow the law or actually looking to protect people to put their asses on the line to go into ferguson with all, again all they're doing is carrying guns which is again a perfectly legal thing to do constitutional legal thing to do same thing millions of other people have done since the beginning of this country. Militia, it's in the fucking Second Amendment, for God's sakes. So, uh, again, it's so funny how the left is quick to attack these people, but when it comes to the rioters, the looters, they they don't even cover that, that much, or they just call them protesters and ignore the fact that they're burning, looting, rioting. You know, and even in some rare instances, we see Time Magazine, uh, I believe it was Salon or Raw Story, actually defending the rioters, saying it's a, a legitimate act of protest. So I just want to go through a few of these headlines here from uh, various mainstream media sites. Uh, CBS News, presence of militia-style group in Ferguson questioned writers heavily armed oath, oath keepers inject dis disquieting element in Ferguson uh, Al Jazeera oath keepers return to Ferguson fueling racial tension I mean again nothing uh, you know nothing of any fucking you know merit um, let's see if there's anything else here uh, Yeah, I mean, I mean, some are just saying, oh, Oath Keepers are here, you know, Oath Keepers, Oath Keepers, you know, you know, like armed, like this one, uh, let me find one here, um, you know, like NBC News, here, NBC News says Oath Keepers turn up at Michael Brown protest in Ferguson, Missouri, you know, nothing really uh, too bad about that one, I'm sure if you read the article there might be something here. But I mean, there's just, you know, a lot of fucking, you know, people who are, um, you know, just spinning this whole thing. You know, I'll hear New York Post, heavily armed oath keepers stir new, stir new unease in Ferguson. Uh, Chicago Tribune, return of armed militia group oath keepers to Ferguson raises concern. Uh, Fox 2 now, heavily armed oath keepers group in Ferguson. You know, at least that one's a better one. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot, uh, oh, here we go, Fox News comes out and says, armed militia group Oath Keepers in Ferguson raises anger, <laughs> can see, it's just fucking, even Fox News, who is supposed to be all the, the fucking conservatives are quick to, 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 to attack these guys, <laughs> so you know, it's just, just making no sense here. And again, the Oath Keepers came to protect an InfoWars reporter. Uh, Second Amendment, you know, constitutional thing to do. I think it's great what the Oath Keepers are doing. And one of the only people who are actually defending, I see either they're, they're, they're saying Oath Keepers are here or Oath Keepers suck in the mainstream media for the most part. The only one who is really defending the Oath Keepers and saying that they're a good bunch of people in the mainstream news uh, was Michael Savage, who came out, I was listening to his radio show and said, you know, Oath Keepers are good people. And so, yeah, you know, the mainstream media is quick to attack the Oath Keepers, but when it comes to the Ferguson protesters, the Ferguson rioters, oh, no, let's not attack them. It's just, it's just nonsensical bullshit. So, you know, Ferguson is, you know, falling again, and maybe the Oath Keepers will... You know, make some make something out of it. Maybe restore order somewhat. And it, but you know, if the mainstream media continues to attack oath keepers for you know protecting the Constitution, uh, using your Second Amendment for good, you know, protecting people, then you know our country's just going to keep falling to shit. So oath keepers, keep doing your job. Keep you know 
doing good there. They're not doing anything wrong. They haven't committed a crime. Yet people are so fucking quick to attack them and not attack the actual protesters and rioters who are breaking the law. So there you go, people.